Welcome back, folks, to another episode of the Dino Times Show. I'm your guys' host, Dakota Morgan, coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona, your friend, neighborhood podcaster, animal caretaker, dinosaur enthusiast, all the stuff like that. And today I have with me... Oh, I'm back. Hello. Can you say who you are? Um, his, I'm your lovable girlfriend, Michaela. Yes, you can talk louder into the mic, though. <laughs> I'm literally right here, dude. Shut it's a louder, louder voice, louder voice. But today, folks, we are going back in time because we're going to be talking about some new news that recently, as of this recording, it happened on, I believe, Tuesday. Or it happened last, it happened a couple days ago. There was something found in the Yukon of Canada. I told you a little bit about it. We are talking about the newly found 30,000-year-old baby mammoth that was found in Canada. Wow, I'm, just, I'm surprised. Oh, yeah, Jesus no, it's Christ, sorry, it's, sorry. it's 30,000 years old, and it, it, okay, uh, it's, it's 30,000 years old. So it was a baby woolly mammoth found in the permafrost in northwestern Canada. It's actually found by some gold miners, believe it or not. Yeah. They, it, those things still exist? Yeah, yeah, they do. They very, very much do. It was found by gold miners in the Yukon Klondike region. What would you do for a Klond Klondike bar? Uh, and it's actually compared to the one found in Russia in 2007. The one that was on in the Chicago Museum of Natural History and uh, a couple of world tours and stuff like that, too. Okay, I didn't know that there was, there was that. Yeah, that one was 42,000 years old, actually. Okay. And then this one is 30,000 years old by estimation of the paleontologist. But yeah, it was found in there because they were bulldozing and the guy actually hit something. He's like, he came to his boss and said, hey, I hit something here. And they d dug around and they used to say they found it. Um, it is actually the most preserved one, too. We do we do find stuff. I do have to say, we do find things in the permafrost and ice. And we, we found uh, frozen cave lion cubs of an ex extinct species of lion. Uh, we found frozen, obviously, mammoths before... Uh, we found the frozen baby woolly rhino before as well, but this was the most intact that we found. By how much? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, this one, it was preserved with its skin, intestines, and nails, trunk, and uh, hair, actually. So, so pretty, pretty. Uh, pretty much everything. Yeah. Let me show you a quick little picture here. That is exactly, oh, you guys have seen the pictures already on the YouTube channel, but that is what was found inside. So it's it's crazy to me, this thing, of how it looks. Like, it looks like it's just died. You can tell it's a baby, too. Oh, well, well yeah, it's a mammoth. <laughs> uh, it really does look like it just all of a sudden just died. You know, it's crazy. I mean, apparently when they were trying to excavate it, it started the rain. And I know a poor little kiddo. I love mammoths, by the way. I used to work with mammoths and mastodons back in the day at a fossil lab and studied them and whatnot as well. Oh, the Field Museum. That's who had the other one for a while. You know what? You know what? That one looks just as good. Yeah. Well, this one had more intestines in it, and they actually gave it a name. So it is thought to be a female, and it's named Nunchoga, meaning big baby animal in the local Native American language. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, that is that. So needless to say, we found a new baby mammoth, uh, Nunchoga. So it's found us in the permafrost, which, does, like I said, does happen. We got rhinos we found. We found a lot of Ice Age animals. No dinosaurs yet, but we found a lot of Ice Age animals, at least so far. But what do you think about this? Well, I remember like a couple of years ago, they were like... There was like a, a talk of trying to bring it back because I don't know if it was the one that you showed me from the museum, but it was like they were trying to to excavate the DNA from inside. They still are. So they're trying to do that and they're trying to do de-evolution with uh, the mammoth. One day we're going to do it. I don't want to talk too much about that. We're going to do an episode on the de-evolution of the mammoth because there's a new company that uh, started up this year, I think it was, that's working on it. And they're really close. So who knows with that? But we're going to dive into that later. Um, yeah, that is the new... What do you think about that, though? I mean, I like mammoths. Yeah? I, th I, think... I think that'd be really cool, you I, know? This is like a huge scientific discovery in the yeah. pale paleontology community, too. Yeah, it's not a dinosaur, but it's still like a baby mammoth, and it looks good. I just think of a prehistoric park when he brought the mammoths with the other Oh, and they got a haircut. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they had to cut its hair and stuff. Yeah. That was good. That was really good. Where's the but love for mastodon? One, yeah, that one looks just amazing how it looks, um... With the skin and all that, because you can see the, st the textures. Oh, yeah. You can see it. This looks like it just recently died, and the eyeballs are gone. That's it. Everything else is there, just but the eyeballs. So, yeah, folks, um, if you guys did enjoy this episode and learning about the nunchoga, I'm probably white butchering that language very hard on that and how it's pronounced. Uh, yeah, it makes you guys, you know, I'm showing you guys some pictures throughout the whole video here of it. It makes you guys subscribe to the channel for more Dino Times, more paleo things, video games, and much more here on the channel. I've been your guys' host, Dakota Morgan, on Instagram at Dakota underscore Morgan 97, and Twitter at Dakota Morgan 3, and... What? Me? Yeah, and, and who have you been? Oh, I'm just around. 
just around, just, just hearing around. about all the news going on. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just trying to look at what the where the name is on your notepad right there. Oh, it's over, it's over there. It's in my language. Oh. It's in my language, but yeah, the most preserved specimen we have found, frozen in ice. So really far? cool. So far. Oh. So far. We'll see what we can find. But yeah, thanks everybody for joining. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And remember, folks, science is real.